Hello everybody, I'm Sneaky Gamer and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Tonight we are going to be starting Burial at Sea Episode 2. So let's start off by seeing this previously thing. Who's they the told guy? me, son, you were born to do Wait, great things. What? They were right. Why is it showing me from the first Bioshock? That's a child down there. She's a little sister now. The Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew! Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. So why are we seeing that? This takes place after that happened then? What the fuck? Let's just go with medium. No, I just watched it. <laughs> Sunny day at an outdoor cafe. What could be better? I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of that cafe up there. <laughs> I had turned my headphones up. That was louder than hell. If I remember correctly, you play as Elizabeth in this one. Yes. Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour yep. vous, Elizabeth. Oh no, no, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Thank you. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Comment ça va, Elisabeth <rire> Bien le bonjour, mademoiselle. Me bonjour, mon petit trésor. Je vais te croquer. Oh my god, what the fuck What is wrong with that kid <laughs> What is wrong with that kid Oh my god. Oh, that's fucking weird. Kitty. I can't run, I can't jump, I can't do anything. Little kitty. Can't even crouch. Apparently everybody knows Elizabeth here. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that kid dancing? Bonjour around? Elizabeth! Bonjour! What the fuck? 
he's dancing around with what is that French bread? Bonjour, Elizabeth. Bien, bonjour. Yeah, everybody knows Elizabeth apparently. Bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonne journée. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? This is just weird. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Oh, dommage. It's got the rabbit sitting in the hat. <laughs> Is that baby all weird looking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the baby. Une baguette, and, uh, mademoiselle? No, thank you, I guess. You wouldn't let me take one. Bonjour, bonjour, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, this is just weird. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Le pain est frais, le ciel est bleu, et vous êtes resplendissant. Roquefort, camembert, brie de mots, les meilleurs fromages. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Out here? Okay, yeah, right? <laughs> that doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> that doesn't really happen. Makes sense. Things got weird suddenly. I already knew what was going to happen. I just didn't remember when. But when I saw that balloon, I knew something was up. Sally, wait! Come back! Come back! Wait! Well, this doesn't quite seem right. Sally! No, it would be helpful Sally, if you where ran. Are you going? If you're trying to catch her, you might be able to run. Sally, hold on! Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah, things have definitely gotten weird. Well, that's a statue from Colombia, so... Where did she go? Something weird's going on here. When do balloons sink to the floor like that? Booker DeWitt investigations into matters for public and private. Holy shit. 
What the hell? What's the hold up? Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? Uh, Booker, say, what? I don't I understand. Can get, How? Say... I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. <laughs> but if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten. of me felt all of that knowledge I lost a pinky but that version of me she lost everything Comstock that final Comstock he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here you educated him proper but then why am I back here huh I don't remember opening a tear to come back and who are you Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. Exit the toy department. Okay. I can't run. I can't run. I can crouch, but I can't run. Oh, that's right. I know why I can't run now. This was more of a stealth thing than anything, this DLC, from what I saw. From what I saw, you don't really, um, you don't run, you sneak through it and stuff. Where the hell am I trying to go now? What the fuck? Where do I go? Obviously, I can't go through there. Oh. I was in Paris. I, I was happy. And now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this 
Psychopath? What was I thinking? That wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this... this Su Chong and... I don't even know who that is. Not yet. But you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me. Elizabeth. Yeah, it's really fucking weird now. God, I do not like that we can't run. Moving so slow like this is just frustrating. <laughs> At least I can jump and crouch now, but I can't run. That just, that irritates me so much. I guess we're going this way. How, what are you, huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? I feel, I feel s strange and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. <sighs> oh my God! S stay away from me, Booker. No, no, no! Please, please don't. by that stay away from me but then how am i here how can i be dead in this world and yet now she's My experiencing finger. it too what am i huh? i don't understand i i if we're going to end up in the same place it needs to be harmed and are you being cute Come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things, but after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton, especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back to fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? I guess I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. What the move. fuck is going on? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... Why did they all talk at once? The Lutesses warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. From a, a, a quantum superposition to just me. The uh, quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. I'm just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. I mean, it, it, if I can't open tears, I. Now I can. I'm never leaving here, am I? I I'm never. Going back to Paris. You. And you, you're just. You, you're just what? You, you're, you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds? You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's some crazy shit going on now. <laughs> Legs of this game. Or we can't see our legs when we look down, anyways. Kind of makes me wonder if it's like in some games where you only see the character in certain certain situations where it's just like a floating camera instead of an actual character model. <laughs> like you're just seeing from a floating camera sort of thing. It's weird. I think I'm gonna have to use this air grabber. It's gonna be messy. I don't know if... Well, a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter, too. And that's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. What the fuck? A man the right to feel like a man. To know that he is burning. Oh, shit, I didn't see the glass. Oh, this is gonna suck. Come here, hot. Got a sweet idea for you. These new songs? They're real personal. This is gonna suck. Why is she swinging it like that? Damn it, I didn't see what that said now. You'll want to get the drop on him and quiet. Shh. He can't hear what's only in your head. Well, he's not getting up anytime soon. His head all attached to his body. From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you? Children! A clay, Bradburn. It's up to us to see they become churn. Don't bring churn into the fire. Get the young. <laughs> you can mold them for life. That black label back is the twelve year old single malt. Let's discuss this It's not the strongest that survive, but the fittest. Those most capable of change. A good start is thinking. Now, let's get a flock pick. Are we still gonna know how to pick locks? I would imagine so. Lock picking pick can it. be easy with the right tools and know-how. Use your lock pick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Simple enough. Just a six-pin tumbler. <sighs> but there's an alarm. I could come in handy though. Press F to probe a neutral pin and open the lock. 
A red pin will open the lock, but also sound an alarm. Use a medical kit, press G. The number in the top left corner indicates how many medical kits you currently have. Oh, so they changed a lot. This is way different, and I can run now. Apparently. Apparently Elizabeth suddenly learned how to run again. <laughs> in here. I don't see any. Doesn't mean there aren't any though. Okay, so that's where I was just at is all there. different pathways to the same place apparently. How the hell would you even make If I can afford to see the doctor, is it my concern that others cannot? No, says the damnable parasite. Nine plus two is eleven and there's only one the space. Ryan the lion says you are not a parasite. So unless they've got eleven on a single block, they that's not even possible. <laughs> Hello, dear. I'm Ryan the Lion. Can I shut that off? I'm here to tell you about Peter the Parasite. If I bake a pie, isn't it mine to enjoy? No, says Peter the Parasite. Classification of disruptive children. What the hell are they? Okay. Doors, they're, they're, they're cracking open. My memories of the future and, and, and somewhere I'm going to go. You sure it's your future you're looking at? If not mine, then, then who's? Always <laughs> shoots to kill. What the fuck? They're teaching these kids to shoot? How in the hell are those things all bent like that? Ah, 
Ah, pick up crossbow. Are you sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one. Ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. And what it's does up to you. A stealthy approach is safer and more efficient. Sneak up on foes and perform a melee attack to knock them out. If you're spotted, get out of sight and keep quiet. Those who cannot create will always steal from those who do. Where is your empathy? Asks Peter the Parasite while he picks your pocket. You know this emoji. You'll find it in the dictionary under L I E. All right, boys and girls. Are you hiding, child? Where does one hide the parasite? Nesting in dark recesses. Another one went over this way. Where'd they go? In here somewhere, I think. This reminds me of that scene from Jurassic Park with the kids in the kitchen. raptors that were chasing them. Wait, hand cannon ammo? Am I actually gonna get a hand cannon? Creepy. I'm almost positive there was a third splicer out here that went the other direction. Oh, apparently they just disappear after a little bit. I don't want to use the hand cannon. That's going to be louder than hell. If possible, I'd like to keep this stealthy. Because that's what the intention of it is, I think. And still attached to these things. Cool. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's really cool. I'm gonna forget to hit C and I'm gonna make noise when I land a lot, but that's cool that you can actually do that. Nope. Oh, 
that's cool. I like that, that is awesome. I think I might like this DLC a bit more than the other one actually. At least for now I do. change later on depending on how the rest of it goes and stuff but so far I'm liking this one more than the first part Problem children, use of possession is advised. Are you fucking kidding me? I know that fucking guy came out here somewhere. Unless I just, unless I was just seeing things and there wasn't another one. I am tired, so maybe I just mistook something else for a splicer. I'm going to keep operating under the assumption that there's one coming up somewhere, though. operating under the assumption that there is another one right around here somewhere. But I may have been wrong. Look, Sucho, that's the name you had me tell Atlas. Oh, yeah, Looks like this character Su Chong has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's that's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960 with Booker. When you drowned Song. Over a year from now. Yeah, that that that's right. I what? when I could see all the doors, it all it all made sense, but now. Now it's it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Okay, well there was a checkpoint there, so that's where I'm gonna end it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.